Hello everyone, I am Exotic Gaming, and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video, another weapon review. And, as you guys can see from the title, today's review is on the other new weapon in the Big Five Nights at Friday's update, the Assault Machine Gun. I have to be honest with you guys, this weapon does not look like the coolest weapon by any means in Pixel Gun 3D, but... Its stats make up for it. The Assault Machine Gun is an extremely powerful gun. I would actually go as far to say that this thing is OP, and you guys will see in the next coming minutes how easy it is to take people out, even people with ruby armor. It has a 26 lethality. That means it's not very many shots headshot-wise to a ruby armor player before you completely annihilate them. You can rent this gun instead of buying it. If you click the rent button down there at the bottom, you can see you can rent it for one day, three days, or seven days for five gems, 10 gems, or 20 gems respectively. I personally would recommend everybody watching this video just to try it out for a single day. It's only five gems. You can earn that pretty easily um, with the uh, daily prize reward. And, um, you know, you can try this out for a single day in a few matches and just see how you guys would like it. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to join a match here to show you guys some gameplay with it. Like I say with most of my assault rifle reviews, you're going to get the best gameplay in a medium range map like Bridge. Like Nuclear City, almost almost said Nuketown, Nuclear City, um, and, you know, Paradise Resort. Those are all the best maps you're going to get the best gameplay here with an assault rifle like the assault machine gun. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys some gameplay with this thing and show you guys just how powerful this thing is. A helpful uh, thing that I would recommend you guys to use when you have this is a, if I go into the shop here real quick, the sniper cape. I cannot upgrade this currently right now because I do not have enough gems, but I probably will soon. It will increase your headshot damage, so that is very helpful when using this thing because headshots, as you all know, are very easy to get in Pixel Gun 3D. As you guys can see there, that was a headshot. This is going to be another headshot. It's very, very simple. I mean, it's not very difficult, and that thing is going to really help your gameplay. And if you're going against people with ruby armor, you're going to need something that's going to boost your headshot a little bit. But, I mean... Any armor that you're going to go against, you're going to get really good gameplay. As you guys can see there, that guy that I had just gone against, I had uh, he had actually killed me before. Um, just because he had the assault machine gun as well. And when you, even if you don't have any armor whatsoever, if you have the assault machine gun, you can take people out. As you guys can see there, that guy had some sort of armor and he had the dragon's breath. But really, you have no, you cannot stand against the assault machine gun if you have the dragon breath. So, it's, it's a really good gun. It has a new type of scope here. It's not really new. This is the type of scope that they have on the Desert Eagle UP2, as you guys remember. But they decided to change it up a bit. Um... And put the scope on that are commonly for the secondaries for a primary like this. So I think that's pretty cool. Really soft changing things up a bit. Nothing wrong with that. It has a heck of a lot of ammo capacity. As you guys can see here, you have a lot of bullets in this gun for an assault rifle. A lot more than the other assault rifles in this game. And then when you buy more ammo for three coins later on, you're going to just never run out. So that's another good side about this thing. The bad side is the fact that since the scope is like this, it might be a little difficult at longer range to take people out because you do not have a little red dot sight um, in the center of the gun, so it might be a little difficult to take people out at an extremely long range. So, that's why you have the Impulse Sniper Rifle, to take out the long range people. And that's how you're going to be able to completely annihilate anybody in a match that you're going to come across. In any range. I mean, you have the Impulse Sniper Rifle and the Assault Machine Gun. That's pretty much the ultimate team right there in Pixel Gun 3D. Probably more maybe, maybe the Laser Minigun. I mean, those guns... Those guns, you're not going to get ever bad gameplay with it. But like I said in the beginning here, guys, it looks like this gun's not going to be as powerful as it is. It just looks like your standard assault rifle. I'd base this off of coolness level and looks-wise as maybe something like, I don't know, the Eindringling. The Eindringling here, is what that's what this looks like. This is looks kind of the same as that, maybe a little more detailed, but I would have never guessed that this thing would be as powerful as it is. Here's a uh, gold armored player, as you guys can see there, how easily you can take out a gold armored player. So even like me here with my gold armor UP2, I believe it is that I have people who have the assault machine gun like that guy. He's going to be able to take me out and probably throughout this video, that guy will get me several times just because he does have a gun like that. And it's uh, 
Very good. As you guys can see, you can pretty easily win matches like that. I joined that match late, and I was still able to easily win that just because I had as a gun as good as the assault machine gun. But definitely try to use this gun in as many medium-range matches as you can. If you ever see a match in Paradise Resort, take up the opportunity to use your assault machine gun and completely annihilate anybody that you're going to come across. Bridge? There are not very many bridge matches out there that have as many people as I'm in right now, so this is kind of rare, but bridge is probably one one of the best maps for this gun. Um, Nuclear City is another very good one for this gun, and uh, I don't know how that guy's floating there, but those are the maps that you're going to get the best gameplay with. Close range, you still can get pretty good close range, but as you guys can see there, if you go at hip fire with this gun, the crosshairs will get bigger and bigger as you hold down the firing button, so as far as people go, about as this distance that this guy is is about as far as you can go hitting people at hip fire before it's going to be kind of impossible as the uh, as you're going to run out of the ability to hit them. So, you know, there's there's some good sides and downsides on this, but definitely the good sides of this gun definitely outweigh the bad sides on the assault machine gun. It has a pretty fast firing rate. You don't really have an extremely slow firing rate with this one, so that's a good plus plus about it. Um and, you know, as long as you keep killing people, most of the time people drop ammo, so you're going to have, like, an infinite supply of ammo with this thing, and you're never going to really have to worry about running out of ammo. So, there are a lot of good sides about the assault machine gun, and as you guys can see here, in this match that I'm in, I'm really taking out a lot of people very quickly, and uh, not even really worrying about ammo loss and really not much that I have to really worry about with this assault machine gun. Unfortunately, some people are leaving. Hopefully some more people will join. I assume maybe a few more people will join. Because Bridge, it's kind of a rare map to see a full match in Deathmatch in. So a lot of people probably will be pretty interested to join one once in a while. But I mean, a map like this... You're going to have some close moments here, and you might have some problems going against area damage weapons with the assault machine gun. So, very helpful items that you can use with this is, if I go into the shop here, I'm probably going to die in the process of showing you, but you can have either the Ninja Tabby or... Um, there's one other one, the Berserk Boots. So you can have the Berserk Boots or the Ninja Tabby Boots, and those ones will double allow you to double jump, so you will be able to escape the blast radius from several area damage weapons. And that's that's a huge help, definitely, when you're going against a lot of people in close-range matches when you have this and they have something like, you know, the Anti-Gravity Blaster, Solar power cannon, any of those area damage weapons, and you have a Ninja Tabby Boots, you actually can counteract those. So, I mean, if you're going in a match here and the guy has the little Tesla generator, you're, you're going to be able to take out the Tesla generator. Not really much you're going to have to worry about somebody with the Tesla generator because, you know, it's just a Tesla generator. Not really much you have to worry about with that. You know, somebody with the plasma releaser, always kind of watch out. Make sure they're not blasting the floor around you. Use your ninja tabby boots when appropriate. And you should be able to take out most people with area damage weapons without really a lot of trouble. Um, always try to go for the headshots, like I said here. I was going for the headshots there. It was a lot quicker to take that guy out just because I did go for headshots and not body shots. But, you know, you don't really have to worry about it too much if you are going against somebody who doesn't have any armor whatsoever. If you're going against somebody and they have zero armor, it's going to be very fast taking them out without armor and with armor anyways. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you're really powerful if you have this gun and you have no armor whatsoever. So... Yeah, guys, this is the Assault Machine Gun. It's a really fun review. I really enjoyed doing this one because I knew I was going to get good gameplay with this because it's that powerful of a gun. And like I said in the beginning, everybody watching this, I highly encourage you just to try it out. It's only five gems if you go into the shop here. I got it yesterday, and I was using it yesterday before I actually did a review on it just so I could get the feel of the gun. Um, and I, still, I was still able to do it a full day. I had like 50 minutes left on the gun, so I'm probably going to stop the review eventually and then just continue using this up for the last 15 minutes because it's that good and I really like I really like using this. This is one of those guns, those guns in Pixel Gun 3D that I genuinely have a lot of fun when using. Um, there are not a lot of guns in there. Most of the most of the assault rifles I actually have a lot of fun using, and some of the sniper rifles, not the extremely powerful sniper rifles, but you know something like the Gorilla Rifle UP2 and the Impulse Sniper Rifle. Those are the guns I really actually have fun using in a match, and I don't feel cheap at all when I'm using them. And this is one of those ones that I I classify as this. I'm probably not going to use this one that much just because I I really it's really powerful, and I usually tend to use guns that really shows my skill a little bit more. But, you know, I'm probably not going to get mad if anybody kills me with this because this is just an assault rifle. It's a powerful assault rifle. And, you know, assault rifles are powerful in real life. 
They're they're powerful things in real life. They can easily take anybody out. And, uh, you know, there's not really many complaints I have about this gun. So tell me what you guys think about this. Do you guys really like it as much as I do? I know I really like it. It's one of my more favorite guns out there. One of the ones that uh, I've been getting much better gameplay than average guns with. Have you guys been getting the best gameplay with this before? Have you tried it out before? And, you know, if you're going to answer no to that question, you should probably try it out because I would highly encourage that. And it's definitely going to definitely going to result in good gameplay for anybody at any level. As you guys could see there, that guy did have some armor, and you could see it was quite a large amount more of shots, body shot-wise, to that guy. So definitely always go for the headshots. Use the sniper cape if you can afford it. Um... Definitely, definitely the first cape I would recommend all of you guys to get before any other cape. Second in line would be the, um, I think it's called like the Arc Image cape or something like that. Or maybe that's the old name of it. It's the cape that restores health. This one right, right, hold on, right there, Hitman cape. You can have that one. That one will increase your health slowly. It's one heart per 15 seconds, so that's that's another good one to have. But definitely use a sniper cape, as you, as you guys could see there. That guy had, like, gold armor or something, and it was really quickly able to take him out just because I was going for the headshots, so... Very useful to use those, and uh, always go into the medium range matches. I've said that multiple times, but just to make sure you guys all know, go into the medium range matches like Bridge, like Nuclear City, Paradise Resort. All of those maps are the ones you're going to get the best gameplay possible with. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. I don't really have much else I need to say about this other than totally try it out. And um, yeah, I'm going to get a few more minutes of gameplay here just because it's a good gun and it deserves a decent length review because I don't want to just have an 11 minute review. It's, it's not long enough. You got to get some decent gameplay here with this thing. So here we go. I am about to finish this match here, and I won again. So two full matches there, easily won. I won that match there by, f like, uh, two and a half times more points than the second person. So it's really good, guys, really good, and you're not going to get bad gameplay with it, ever. So yeah, guys, that's the Assault Machine Gun UP2. Totally worth trying out once in a while when you're going to get great gameplay, even at the highest level possible like I am in right now. I'm at the highest, one of the highest levels possible, and I'm going against people who are the highest level, level 26, like uh, multiple people that I'm going to see eventually here, like probably somebody in this match here is level 26 if I look. Yeah, Freddy's Fazbear, Gamer, and Kendry RFC or whatever his name is. So those are all people level 26 and I'm easily able to take them out just because I have a gun that is, is good enough to take these guys out. So, really good gun. Assault Machine Gun. Totally, totally worth the price. Hopefully, really soft in the future will allow us to buy this thing. I'd really love to buy this gun so I won't have to pay gems each time I'd like to use it. You know, maybe maybe after you rent it a few times, you'll be able to get the option to buy it if you like it. Um, I feel like that would be something cool really soft might want to add in the update. But, um... That's about it for this review, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, then be sure to leave a like, comment, favorites, and subscribe for some more Pixel Gun 3D videos. Be sure to check out all of my other reviews I do on my channel. I have a lot, over 70 reviews now, with this one being like 71 or something like that. So I have a heck of a lot of reviews. You can check all of those out and all of my other Pixel Gun 3D series. I have numerous other series than just weapon reviews. I do glitch tutorials. Whenever I find a glitch, I'll post one to YouTube. Um, I do another special glitch tutorial, out of the map glitch tutorials, 1v1 series, deadly games, colored weapons gameplay, random weapons gameplay. You name it, I have it. Not really. Um, but yeah, guys. Try to check all of those out. Be sure to like, comment on those ones, and yeah, let's get, let's get one last kill here, and then we'll end the video. It should be this guy. Easy last kill? Nope, that's kill assist. Not ever sure why really soft allowed it so you can get a kill assist in a death match. Did not really quite understand that. But here we go. It should be should be relatively soon where I get the, the last kill. Come on. I gotta get it soon. There's a lot of people here. Okay, I guess not. I guess not. Let's go. Here's this guy. It has to be right now. Three, two, one. Oh, false alarm, false alarm. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh! Really, the second I I say okay, one last kill, I get I get I cannot get a kill. I I don't understand that. Of course, the kill assists are happening constantly. There we go. Finally got it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.